Myths and legends. Prophecies and visions. All of these things tend to be dotted around in video games, and more often than not they all turn out to be true. This'll make this man seem very silly that he ignored Feezy's visions about bad things to come, because more than likely they're going to be validated as completely and totally true. But hey, you don't know that. We do, but you don't. Let's go and find out if in fact they are true, shall we? Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Golden Sun! When last we left off, there's one more thing we need to do here in Zion before we leave, and that is to upgrade some of our equipment, because after all, the last time we did so was quite a bit ago. We could do with getting some new stuff, and fortunately, everything that we need is under one roof. There is the armor merchant, the weapon merchant, and the item merchant over there. Martial artists can't use heavy armor. If they do, they can't move quickly. But not warriors. Using much armor is good for them. Well, that does make sense. In warrior battles, you fight with weapons. And that is a really odd piece of wording, because surely even someone who uses kung fu is technically a warrior. Or maybe they're not in Zion. In kung fu, you fight by dodging and also by hitting things. You can't just dodge forever, and then the enemy will be defeated. Let's go talk to you, shall we? Zion has martial arts, but Kung Fu alone is not enough. People worry. For that reason, it's not strange to sell weapons in Zion. It's probably not strange to sell weapons anywhere where there are people, especially in this world where everywhere has a weapons and armor shop. Well, almost everywhere. I can't actually think of anywhere that doesn't now that I uh, think about it. Some say fighting with weapons is cowardly. I say not true. There are many fighters, and many ways of fighting. Like running away, for instance. That's definitely a way to fight. Well, a way to avoid fights anyway. Zion's special armor is not suited to warriors. It's better to buy normal armor. We're gonna find out what she means momentarily. Zion is a village of craftsmen. They never buy items. They make them. I don't think they make absolutely everything. Very few places are completely self-sufficient, but maybe you know something that I don't about Zion. Let's go and buy some equipment, or more accurately, let's go and sell some equipment, because we have things that we most certainly uh, don't need anymore. Like for instance, we don't need this long sword anymore. 750 coins is a good deal. We also want to get rid of this uh, armor here, because this leather armor is no longer useful to us. There we go, 180 gold uh, sold, or rather gained. Well, we sold the item and gained the gold. Anything else we can get rid of? We can get rid of this travel vest here, that is uh, useless. And we can get rid of the bracelet here, that is 135 coins. We can't get rid of the uh, shaman's rod, that is a very important item. We can get rid of the sleep bomb though, we don't need that right now. Anything else? We could get rid of the uh, travel robe. That's probably a good idea. There we go. And now we're going to uh, move away from this and shuffle a few items around. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give this game ticket here over to uh, Garrett because he's holding on to all of them. The other thing we're going to do, I think, is um, anything else we want to move around? I think we want to go and give the Elven Rapier over to Ivan here. It is a better item, and we are going to be buying a uh, better weapon for Garrett momentarily. There we go. He will actually make a... Um, we won't actually go to the weapons merchant first. He'll make a, a comment about us selling an artifact, which is what the uh, staff that we've got here is. We'll get 645 coins for it. That's very rare. 645 coins enough? Indeed it is. I will buy it. Here are your coins. We will also buy one weapon here for Garrett, a very expensive weapon, which is a battle mace, but uh, 2,600 coins is a fair price for such a powerful weapon. It's actually better than the Arctic Blade, but only by one point, and uh, I'm not bothered about upgrading just the one point of attack there. Take it. Are you equipping it now, Garrett? You'll also notice that the dialogue here is a little bit different. We will equip it. You look strong, warrior. You're a good customer. You can have this game ticket. Just to show that everybody's in on the game ticket thing. Absolutely everyone. We also want to buy some armor. The uh, special armor we'll be looking at in a moment. There are iron shields, which are very good. There are also armlets, but we don't need to buy any of them. 
There are also bronze helms, but we don't need to buy any of them. There are silver circlets, and we most certainly want to buy them and replace the uh, wooden caps. It is a, a small amount of defense increase. Are you equipping it now, Ivan? We are! It suits you, warrior. You don't need that wooden cap. Will you take 300 coins? We will! But I presume you actually want to buy the wooden cap. It would just be good if it was like, Will you take 300 coins? Certainly! Well, there you go. Thank you very much. And then we just sort of walk away. But no, he does want to buy the wooden cap. There we go. And we indeed get a game ticket. Yet another game ticket. We also want to buy a second one of these, one for Mia, and her defense is now at 100. There we go, we'll uh, get rid of the wooden cap there for 300. We also want to buy some of these iron shields. We want to buy two of them, one for uh, Isaac and one for Garrett. There we go, we are indeed equipping it now, it does suit us, and we will get rid of the bronze shield, and get yet another game ticket. It would be good if the game just sort of uh, lumped all of the game tickets together at the end, so when you were about to leave it would be like, oh by the way, have tons of game tickets. There we go, we'll get rid of the uh, bronze shield here. We still have about 3,000 gold, which is really good. There are a few more things we could buy, we could buy some uh, silk robes here, but uh, only uh, Ivan and Mia can equip them. And the difference for, between uh, the silk robe and the elven shirt is actually that the elven shirt is better. So we're going to be holding on to that, but uh, Ivan can most certainly use the uh, fur coat, well not use the fur coat anymore, it'd be better for him to hold on to the uh, silk robes instead. We're not going to be selling the fur coat just yet though, because, well he can't pay anymore indeed, we do have no deal, we want to make sure that that is uh, the best item that, uh, well everyone's equipped with the best items that they can have. So we're going to pass this around and see if anybody else can uh, use it. And indeed, it is worse than everything else that we have, so we're just going to sell that. There we go, let's just uh, sell this item. I think he'll make a comment about it being a very rare item as well, which is uh, interesting to see. There we go. I can give 300 coins for your fur coat. Maybe he doesn't count it as a rare item. There we go, and we don't get a game ticket. We do have 2,000 uh, gold left, which is not bad. I don't think there's anything else we want to buy right now, so we're just going to leave Zion. But before we do, there is one more person that we can talk to, because Feezy is right by the entrance here. You are the warriors from the school. Are you strong warriors? We like to think that we are, yes. I'm happy to see strong warriors. I hope you will go west. Hint, hint. The game is saying, hey, if you want to carry on the game, you should be heading west right now. Going west alone is very dangerous. I must find someone who will take. Uh, so must find someone to take me west. Rather, I thought she was going to say I must find someone who's going to take me west. But no, she just wants to find people who will take her west. She's not going to ask us, however. She's just going to watch us leave. And we're going to head west, which is the direction we need to go to carry on the game. We're following the uh, location of the Silk Road right now, and here is an ape and two moles. I think we can. Uh, ooh, I didn't rest at the inn. That is something I probably should do. So you know what? We'll just use Synergy absolutely everywhere. We'll rush back and use the inn, and then we'll carry on our merry way. Because we most certainly want to do this with as much uh, Synergy available as possible. I'm terribly sorry, Encounter here. You're going to die absolutely horribly. There is a Tundra there. I think the ape should still be alive, but nothing else. But Ragnarok, the amazing looking move, will probably... No, did not finish off the ape. Did not at all, but a fireball will probably do the trick. Burn, ape, and give us our experience. There we go, we're just gonna run back to Zion here and pretend that we rested at the end before we left. And uh, Feezy is still here, and she won't follow where we walk because we haven't talked to her. 40 gold is quite a good rate for staying at the inn. Especially considering the fact that we earned far more than that in that one encounter before we ran back. There we go. Rested we are, we shall now move on, and hopefully we won't find any more random apes walking around. We're going to find loads more random apes, aren't we? Most likely. Alright, we'll just cut through this forest here, and then we get to this area, which is an important area, the Alpine Crossing. Yeah, Silk Road! Boulders block the road! Indeed they do. My vision, it came true. 
And there you are! The vision turned out to be absolutely correct, as per role-playing game parameters. Pursue! Pursue! Uh-oh, bad things are happening. Very bad things. I think he's in trouble. And I think we can't move those rocks, can we? No, we can't. It's no good. I cannot hear Hasu's voice. Things are not going very well for him whatsoever. Or you. What do I do? Warrior, should I return to Zion? No, you need to help your friend. You need to help your friend. You are right, Warrior. Of course not. I must, I must find Hasu. She's a little bit worried, and I don't blame her. Also, there is a puzzle here that will lead to that item. And we have the synergy right here to make this small puddle into a pillar of ice. But we don't have the synergy to uh, grow this small bit of plant. We're going to have to uh, trade a few gin around to make that happen. And now we've traded gin around, we can make that happen. This is a very short area and just to uh, sort of split the way to where you're going. You can't uh, head over to uh, the Silk Road right now and uh, go over to Tolby. We have to go this way, and head over to uh, Alton Peak instead. The game did mention Alton Peak in some detail. And in here is some power bread. At some point I might actually use some of those items. Also, whee! And we have to now head up, I think. There's uh, nothing we can do over here, we can't move the rocks, and uh, we can't get over to that small uh, entranceway over there. So we're going to head up here instead. A very short distance that will lead over to Alton Peak. And things are not going very well in Alton. There is a slight water problem. A massive water problem. Remember when they said that this place was a mine? Well, right now, it's a small lake, which is uh, not good for business. Is this your first time to visit Alton? It is indeed. We must look like a coastal town, huh? Well, you sort of do, but on the other hand, you're nowhere near the sea, but I'm going to say yes anyway. Nothing gets by you. Alton never even had a well in the old days. Water spewing monsters are what waterlogged the village. I imagine we're going to have to deal with these water spewing monsters. You came to Alton at a bad time. You're terribly unlucky, huh? Also, obvious item hidden away is an obvious item hidden away. We'll just move this to the side and see what's in here. Technically, this gets the uh, dungeon music, but we're not going into a dungeon right now. We're picking up a Psy Crystal and handing it over to Garrett. And then we're going to talk to these people over here, who aren't really having a good time of things. How horrible! My house is totally coated in monster spit! Well, technically, I suppose it is monster spit, but it's also water as well. I'm glad I saved my very first love letter. But what about everything else? I'm afraid everything else is probably uh, irreversibly waterclogged and destroyed. But hey, you saved what was important. Your very life. The most important thing you can save in that situation. How can those creatures spit up so much water? Well, probably magic. But hey, probably, well actually yes, probably magic. I can't think of any other reason. It's almost like they're turning the air itself into water. They might be doing that too. Oh no! What will I do if all my merchandise is soaked? Well, you could give it to me for free! I'm sure we could use some soggy potions. I think we could definitely use soggy potions. Is there a discount for them? If my goods are wet, I'll have to dry them out before I can sell them. Which is a hint to say that um, even if we manage to clear this area out, we might have to wait a little while before we can, uh, before we can buy anything. Hello, at least this place wasn't waterlogged, and I think that is on purpose, because uh, this could have been a very dangerous journey for a party, and if they get to Alton and there isn't an inn and a place to uh, bring people back from unconsciousness, that would be a little bit brutal. It was after that eerie night when the gems fell from the sky. It's always the gems, isn't it? The gems are responsible for pretty much everything that's going wrong so far. That was when the water spewing beasts appeared in the mine. Please save the helpless in Alton. Why don't you tell us that rather than just think it? That would be much better, I think. Alright, we can't do anything there. There is the inn. The inn is over here, and that is handy. The inn managed to survive the ravages of the water that's being spat out by these monsters. We'll see one of them soon enough. Even the mine is submerged. No one can enter it. Well, you can enter it. 
you just won't last very long. Even the toughest of miners can't do much in this water. Well, considering how high up the water is, I'm not surprised. Is there anything in here? There is not. Hello, old man. If we could just destroy the monsters, all the water should drain away. Drain to where? If the water beasts continue to flood us, our entire village will be submerged. That's probably because you've sort of dug out this part of the mountain and then built your village in it. You've built your village in a massive saucer bowl, which is a really bad idea. A terrible idea. Let's go to the inn, shall we? Hello, how are you? We got a little damp, but we're doing okay. We must count our blessings. Indeed you must. After all, a lot of good people have been hurt in this flooding. Note that it doesn't say that anybody has died in the flooding. I don't think the game will ever mention that people might have died in the flooding. There we go, nothing in there. Anything in here? No? What about in here? And also, let's have a look and see what's cooking, shall we? Nothing's cooking there. What about over here? Hello, you are very busy indeed. We look in the oven. He's making shrimp in a chili sauce. The shrimp looks so scrumptious. My mouth is watering. We should do that at every inn. I've been forgetting to do that. Hello, you. I came from Zion. I cook good food. Eat up. I became a cook after I came to Alton, but I still cook well. Why would you cook terribly if you were in Alton? Do you want weapons? We do want weapons. I'll sell you anything you want once the water's been receded. Oh, you're the guy who runs the weapon shop. I almost didn't notice because you weren't standing behind a counter. What in the world did we do to deserve this fate? Gripes. Is this how my weapon shop ends? As a sunken disaster? Well, you could call yourself, I don't know, the sunken hook or something afterwards. That'd be a very appropriate name for a weapon shop. I'd give anything for someone to return out into its former glory. Like a massive pile of money? You look pretty young, but if you're a true warrior, please help us. At least this person is not just instantly dismissing us because we're young, unlike a certain lord that we encountered earlier on. I know we don't look so tough, but being warriors and all, maybe they can help us. I'm sure we can. Is there anyone up here? Also, is there anything in here? No. What about the books? Anything to read? There is a book titled Altim, The Mining Village. Altim mines are famous for their beautiful gems, according to the book. We were told about that earlier, I think. Hello, how are you? None of us can go home until the water subsides. It's absolutely terrible. Most of the village is still submerged. It will be a long time before Altim returns to its former glory. It's not going to be as long as you think. Also, a bunk bed here. I don't think we've seen one of them before. Hello, how are you? Of course our house will be ruined now. I wish I could move away, but I can't, because I have no money or house. Now I finally have an excuse to move to my favorite town, Tolby. We're going to be going to Tolby eventually. No matter what happens, I never abandon Alton. Ah, you're probably married to this person, and you want to leave, and he doesn't want to leave. Leaving out him for Tolby? Well, that's just crazy. Yep, I think that is exactly what's going on over there. Anything in here? The answer is no. What about here? Nope. And what about over here? Anything here? No, there are two people though. Let's have a conversation. Not many people come up Silk Road to Alton. You're an odd one, you are. Of course, you can't go west of the mountains without taking Silk Road. And we can't take Silk Road anyway. It's been a long time since I got a break from doing housework. Well, you could ask him to help you with the housework. I mean, he's not doing anything. I hate sitting around like this. I want to go home. Well, eventually you'll be able to go home. We're going to sort this problem once and for all. Probably by going and killing some uh, water spewing monsters. Like one down here. Did I talk to you? I think I did. I did talk to you. There's also an area up here, and there's an area down there as well. Let's talk to you. We can't drink the water the monsters spew. It's disgusting. Won't anyone ever slay those beasts? That beast over there, just spitting water. Why aren't they throwing rocks at it or doing anything at it? Yes, indeed, shake your head, but do something about it. No, you're just going to wait for us, aren't you? You're going to wait for us. Ugh, the monster spewed out all of this water. It smells foul. 
let's go talk to the people over here, and then go and uh, confront the monster. Alton always used to run short on water, now we're all flooded in. Either way, we just have bad luck when it comes to water. Water is nice, but not when it's flooding your home. That is very true. My store is submerged. I want to sell armor, but there's no way. And I forgot all of my snorkeling equipment. And the scuba equipment. And the fact that I can't breathe water. All my armor inventory is rusting even as we speak. Well, maybe some of it's magical and it'll be okay. Have at thee, water spewing monster! This monster is actually quite smart and will move away into an area away from us. Why are you shaking your head at us? We're going to go and solve the problem. The problem is literally in there. And when we come back, folks, we're going to go and start hunting down these monsters that are spewing water everywhere. The sooner we do so, the more of Altim will be saved from the water. And hopefully, we'll be able to start buying things as time goes on. But for now, we're just going to try and deal with the monsters. One step at a time, eh? One step at a time. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.